Hey community of awesome, welcome back to Bookish Pixie. So I got two related questions recently on how you know when you have enough of a book idea to start writing and how you know when you've plotted enough to write an entire book. So this vlog is geared towards plotters. If you are a pantser, aka someone who writes by the seat of their pants and therefore doesn't plot, then this vlog is not going to be very helpful for you. The reason this vlog is geared towards plotters is because I'm answering both of these questions through plotting because I'm a plotter. So yeah. So the way my plotting works is I start off by brainstorming. So in my brainstorming stage, that is when I throw all the ideas into a document and I start asking myself a million and two questions. I ask questions about what the protagonist's goal is and what's at stake and what the antagonist's goal is and how do those things clash and I ask about the world and what is this world like and what are different world building elements I want to include and I ask about the plot itself and well if this happens then this could happen or what if this happens instead or what if this happens instead and then I sort of pick my favorite answers of those until I've got this amorphous blob of ideas that are slowly kind of starting to form into a plot but need more direction but I have a nebulous idea of what I want the story to be like. During the amorphous blob stages, when I like to work out the working log line or elevator pitch, so the one sentence that describes what happens in this novel. So for Beyond the Red, for example, my log line is it's a young adult sci-fi novel about an uprising on a distant alien planet that threatens the reign of a teen alien queen. I've already done a vlog on log lines and pitches, so I'll link to that below if you need help on figuring out how to create your own elevator pitch. The reason I like to have the log line in this stage is because it helps give me some direction for me to reference back to when I'm plotting the book. Okay, so I've got this amorphous blob of ideas that's really exciting and cool. This is not when I jump in and start writing. Oh no, this is when I say, okay, now I'm ready to plot this book and figure out how the hell all of this is going to happen. Okay, so you're plotting and throwing down scenes and all things are going well, but how do you know when you've plotted enough to write a full-fledged novel? That is the question. Bad news is I can't really give you like a concrete number of scenes like, oh, X scenes is the perfect length of a book. Can't do that because that's not how it works. That would be too easy. The truth is, it's very much gonna vary. But the one thing that all stories have in common in terms of plot is the plot arc must be complete. That means you have to hit all the beats in the story. So the opening, the inciting incident, the point of no return, all that stuff in the middle, the climax, and then the resolution. Basically, you need a complete story from beginning to end. That means you need some character change from beginning to end, and the problems that you introduce in the beginning of the novel need to be resolved at the end of the novel. So that's really vague, but it's meant to be because that's something that goes across all stories, and thus, yes, it's gonna be vague. So, okay, you may be watching this vlog and saying, great, but I still don't really know if I have enough meat in the story to write an entire novel, and that is a valid concern. So if you want to get more specific, the main thing you need to think about is how long books are in your specific genre and category. I write a lot of YA science fiction and fantasy, which usually falls between 70 and 100,000 words, somewhere in there, which means when I'm plotting, I usually try to aim between like, eh, 40 and 60 scenes somewhere in there. I usually fall around 50, sometimes a little less. So for example, I am currently working on a middle grade for the first time ever and I'm actually plotting it out right now. And I don't actually know how many scenes I'm gonna end up with when I finish this plot. I'm assuming it's gonna be less than my general 50 average. Um, because middle grades are shorter than YA in general and I am trying to keep within those norms. But I don't actually know exactly how many scenes I'm gonna end up with and a lot of this really is just feeling it out story to story. So really the main thing you want to think about is is this plot arc fully developed? If the answer is yes then you're probably going to have enough in there for the whole novel anyway. So don't worry too much about the word count details for now. So that's what I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys next week.